Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Floral Tempest. Last episode we made our way to the peak of the volcano, save Victini, and now we're going to take on Ramona and get our next gym badge. Alright, do this. Are you ready? Let's hope you live up to my expectations. Or maybe I'll live up to yours. Let's just hope this battle goes well. No excuses. Without further ado, I, Ramona, use the fighting type Pokemon. Fighting types have many weaknesses, but they all share one thing in common. Let me just say, you better not get hit, because I won't be responsible for what happens. All right, bring it on. Let's do this. All right, Ramona absolutely destroyed Del back in uh, the village. And let's see how well we can do here. So I'm gonna go for a discharge first. Okay, that's uh, not great. Well, let's go into Star Up to get that Intimidate off and then we'll just go for a Brave Bird. You get a crit. Of course you get a crit, you know? <laughs> Why would you not get a crit? Oh, that's so annoying. All right, Hyper Voice. All right, this battle could go a lot better. I think if I lead off with like Aria next time, better. We can stay in, go for a Moonblast. Ice Punch, that's fine. All right, full restore, that's all good, that's all good. And then we'll keep going for Moonblast while you waste them full restores. Yep, keep wasting the full restores, I don't mind. Although I should probably heal up right now. Uh, let's go for a max potion. I'm getting very low on supplies. I need to buy some more. Alright. So you've got no more potion doll. Scrafty, that's super dead. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Conkulder, I'm going to just stay in. Just keep moon blasting. Knock off my life orb. That kind of sucks, but we should be fine. Halucha, uh... Right, I'm gonna go to Edelgoss. Oh, the shiny looks so sick. Gonna Max Potion Primarina. A Jump Kick, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna Max Potion Edelgoss stay alive just a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, now we'll go... Yeah, let's go Arya, it's fine. So maybe Cinderace could just go in and we can save Arya's strength for whatever comes out later, but it's all good, just blast it. Kamo, oh that's gonna super die. Obviously four times with the fairy. This is actually a lot easier than I thought. After the Inferno I thought this is gonna go really badly, but Arya just coming in clutch right now. And Lucario, okay. All right, so Subasa, we definitely just gotta hit you with a Pyro Ball. And we should, oh wow, that shiny looks nice. Should hopefully just win. Oh, the Mega Lucario looks awesome, and this is not good. Right, so what I'll do is if I revive, how many revives have I got? Four. Revive Edelgoss. Revive Staraptor. All right, gonna go Staraptor first. Get that Intimidate. Gonna then revive Cinderace. Okie dokie. Alright, bring in Edelgoss. I think we should live an attack, so I'm gonna max potion Edelgoss. Nice. Gonna go for another one just to lower your speed. Alright, that should be enough. Although your attack's going up, which is a little scary. Right, Tsubasa, come on. Nice Pyro Ball, kill the Lucario, everything's all good. Nice, there we go! Woo! <laughs> Wait, that's it? Yep. Wait, was that it? I, I was so caught up in the battle, I thought I had more Pokemon. I lost? Huh, I lost. Wow, I really lost. I haven't lost a battle in so long, I forgot what the feeling was like. I can't believe it, I have really lost. Here, I still need time to process this. Hey, so we've got our, uh, what's that, 11th badge? So I really wanted to keep battling. That was the most fun I've had in ages. But all good things must come to an end. I'm supposed to give you this too. Got Brick Break, nice. And this is from me. Ooh, Aura Sphere. At least now I know you've already surpassed me. I was always used to uh, being the strongest battler in the room, but now I guess I don't have to hold that burden anymore. By the way, that badge lets you up to level 95, wow. Now go help Faye and the others. I'll be fine up here alone. 
All right, so now we need to go to Marigold, isn't it? All right, let's fly. Marigold is there. Okay. Oh. All right, let's get healed up first. Definitely need to buy some supplies because I have like no revives. Barely any potions left. Get all this again and then we'll be absolutely golden. All right, so revives. Let's get like 30 revives and I guess we're gonna get five max potions. I guess I could sell some stuff. Must have some things I could sell. All right, uh, let's start from the top. What to sell, what to sell. I know I've got the amulet coin, which I'm gonna put on someone in a second, just get some more money, because we are broke. And more money would be nice. Especially because the the mega store is gonna open soon. Mmm, got a bottle cap I can use. So nothing to really sell. So let's put on amulet coin. Where is it? Where is it? There you are. Get rid of the magnet, and let's uh, go and make some money, shall we? So this time, Neo Team Blight runs the show. This is our city now. So Neo Team Blight, ayo. Hey this is our city. We took it over. Mm, and I'm going to take it back. It'd be really cool if the, uh, was it the Magmorders Electrovires, they just, like, come help out as well. Maybe just go for Thunder, because it is raining and we won't miss. Thunder! Oh, never mind. Okay. This is not looking too good. We need to actually do some grinding as well, because now we get to 95. Some other Pokemon won't even level 85. That was the previous level cap. Aria Doss, let's just go for a Brave Bird. Nice, nice, nice. What else you got? Absol! A nice uh, close combat. Ooh. How much money do we get? 5,000, yeah, it's not bad. We just keep battling with grunts, 5,000 a pop. We'll be uh, back to making bank in no time. <laughs> uh, let's not pop a repel, don't need to do that. All right, I'm guessing we just make our way towards the gym. I always follow Lester, he's my main guy. <laughs> do you think this is Lester? Neo Team Blight, run by Lester. Normal Team Blight, run by Venom. Because if you're saying, well, you know, Lester's his guy, then it makes sense to probably follow Lester. But anyway, let's go Suprasso, go for a nice mud shot. Not too bad. So Viper, we can stay in, just keep going mud shots. If we can run like a stronger ground type, it'd be so good. I mean, mud shot's good because it can lower the speed as well, but something stronger would be. Very nice. Right, let me go for a Brave Bird here. Brave Bird, oh. Okay, never mind. I hate Final Gambit. It's been happening too much recently. Uh, Stone Edge. I'm gonna miss, awesome. Gonna miss again. Oh, you love it, Winter. I'm gonna miss. Oh. Actually, kind of lucky. All right, let's get healed up again. Gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. These, I mean, the Neo Team Blight Grants—they aren't hard to beat. It's just, uh, yeah, they get some cheeky attacks off, and it's got to go get healed up. But if I can just get a few levels and we can outspeed everything and just start one shotting, oh, be good. Don't want to battle. Come on, I want to battle everyone. I want to get some more experience, more money. Uh, hi. So Lester, yeah, so they're run by Lester. Lester told us to block you from entering until he's uh, heard back from Venom. So how about you go find something else to do, loser? Okay. Where do we want to go? Should we go, oh, I'm about to go check out the professor's old house? Might find something in there. Didn't think about that before. But uh, let's go, Thunder! Cool, cool, cool. Got the paralysis at least. Alright, uh, Super Arcel, let's just finish you off. Nice. Uh, Toxapex. Yeah, we can just keep going one shot, right? 
can be a water move that's going to hurt, but that doesn't do that much to be fair. Oh, this is not great. Yeah, there's the liquidation. Critical hit as well. I mean, I don't think a crit even really matters because the rain's up. Free bird, finish you off. Let's get level 80. At least like, we've got XP all, just, everyone's getting some experience, so it's not hard to level up. Right, if we can just hit you with like one water move near the queen, you're super dead. I think we're going to poison sting. <laughs> Alright, nice. Alright, let me go get healed up. I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alright, we're back. Nice and healthy. Let's continue on. Hey, yo. Do you see how many of us are around? Uh, I mean, there's not that many. I wish there was more, so I can get some more money, you know? That's more experience, but... It is what it is. Critical here. I keep getting critted so much recently. It's really... Honestly, really annoying. <laughs> like, if I get taken out in one hit, fair. But if I get taken out because of a crit, it's... It's the worst. Worst feeling. Look at these crits just keep coming and coming and coming. Alright, gonna go Hyper Voice. Ooh, that's lucky. I thought I could maybe take you out. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's go Subasa. And then we miss, of course. And I miss a lot as well. I get critted a lot, I get hacked a lot, and I just miss a lot. <laughs> uh, what do I go for here? I guess... Let's try a Pyro Ball. No, the rain's up, but okay, yeah. I thought maybe a little bit more than that. It's fine. Now you're confused. Let's go like and rock. Come on. Land the Stone Edge. Got flinched, of course. Saw that coming. <laughs> I'm trying to like, get in the habit of not going. Don't get flinched. Don't get poisoned. Because then sometimes it doesn't happen, but it still happens anyway. And then get healed up again. Alright, so we're back. Nice and healthy. Also, I forgot... There is a training person outside every Pokemon Center, and I thought maybe, oh, if I go to a place where they'll be super strong, I can, um, you know, just keep grinding. And turns out the person with a Chansey just outside Marigold, he has a uh, level 80s, and they keep scaling with us. So I did a lot of grinding, didn't get to max level. I thought, don't be too max right now, but everyone is now, well, apart from Jolteon, in the 90s. So we are now going to be looking very good. I'm going to lead off with Aria, though. With the rain, it should be really nice. Hey, oh, how's it going? Surprise! Come catch his work, scrub. All right, let's go. Also got a bunch of money from be defeating the uh, the Chansey person as well, so uh, yeah, looking good. So let's go for a Hyper Voice first, and I'm gonna go for a Thunder on the Bishop. Oh, but the Paralysis, not bad damage at all. Sweet. I'm a level like 91. Okay. Like a little scary. Oh, do the trainers also scale with us as well? Because if they do, all well, that grinding basically was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, still good to do it, but a bit useless, wasn't it? All right, nice. And wood hammer, that's okay, that's okay. And we will go... Let's go... F I meant to go... Um, that's bad. I meant, <laughs> I meant to go uh, Star Raptor. Did not mean to go into Edelgoss, but I mean Edelgoss. I they could still maybe help out with Sing. Let's just go for this and go Brave Bird, but I accidentally misclicked and went for the wrong one. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And Muck. Uh, Hyper Voice. Let's go Brave Bird. Not bad damage at all. Go Subasa, finish you off with a mud shot. And a brave bird. All good. And we missed the mud shot. <laughs> of course we do. Man, they're actually pretty tough. I should go get healed up again. I feel like I gotta get healed up after every single battle, don't I? I'll see you guys back in a sec. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, where are we going? Oh. So how was the stroll here? Saw the team Blight Grunts. They look kind of different though. I wonder what's going on. Anyway, everyone else is inside. We have an underground entrance into the main building for situations like this. Follow me. Well, that's because they're not Team Blight. They're Team Neo Blight. Alright, I've done what I can in terms of freeing up the elevators. Hopefully those boys will be able to uh, clear up the first floor and the entrance for us. I'm pretty sure they can handle it. Thanks for the help, Dahlia. Oh, no problem. Just make sure you guys don't break anything down here. 
I'm mainly talking to everyone else, since Lena already knows this. Don't have to tell us that all this. We aren't kids. Because last time I checked, you still forgot what floor your room is on. So I'm not sure. You really get off to ridiculing me, huh? <laughs> you're cute when you're mad. I just like to tease you. <laughs> Don't worry. We won't, we won't mess with anything down here. I'll make sure of it. I'm going to run along to my place now. You guys be careful. I'll be rooting for all of you. Even you, Scarlet. Good luck. Be careful. God, I hate her. Oh, hush. You know you love her. Obviously, as you can see, Team Blight's taken over the entire city. Scarlet and I try to stop them, but we're just two trainers against a whole gang of them. So they call themselves Neo Team Blight? What's that about? Well, since Lester was leading them, I'm assuming that he got kicked out and started his own group. Did he, if I got kicked out of a group and start and start my own group, I wouldn't call it, like, you know, the same name. I'd call it something completely different. Or at least if I had the name, I'd be like, I'd be Blight Killers. Or something, I don't know. But he showed up to my building and threatened to kill civilians if we didn't give him the entire building. So I need to make sure everyone in the city was okay. So I didn't oppose him. And just let him take everything. So, what if it's just a ploy to distract us while they find more legendary Pokemon? Regardless of what it is, we need to bring Lester down for good. Look, their plan doesn't matter. They're here now, and are terrorizing this city where people live. We'll enter through the basement floor, and head to the top floor where Lester is. The bottom floor is all cleared out. Anyway, we're just waiting on Milo and Akira to clear up the bottom floor for us. Hey. Thanks Milo, you're our lifesaver. Yo, I helped too. Where's my thanks? <laughs> so now that the first floor is cleared, we can access the Pokemon Center easier since it's closer. Alright, Lena. I see how it is. I could just leave right now. Probably heal up all the grunts I battled on the way here too. Guys, let's save it until we uh, save the city from Team Blight, okay? Then you guys can hate each other all you want. Besides, Lena, Akira was the one who took out a majority of the grunts, anyway. So he's helping you out a lot already. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Anyway, did the uh, owner key work on the elevator? It should have opened up the upper floors. Owner key? The key we had to use on the elevator to get down here. The key worked. Bunch of more floors opened up, but we decided to come see if you guys were ready to move. Didn't, didn't the grunts have one as well? When we showed up, we saw them use it on the elevator to go up. Yeah, seems like it's really easy to get their hands on important stuff like that. Makes me wonder about the state of the security in this city. Don't even go there. There are only three known copies of this key as far as I know. The only ones they belong to are Scarlet, Dahlia and I. So wherever they got the rest, I don't know. So I'm not sh uh, so sure you should be ragging on our security, considering Team Blight literally infiltrated your protected power plant. Oh, that did happen, didn't it? D you know I could leave- <laughs> Guys, do we really have time for this? Faye's right. Don't have time to stand around here. Team Blight is priority number one. So number one priority is getting Team Blight out of my city, making sure everyone else is okay. So we're just gonna storm the place? What will Team Blight do if we just storm the building? Every other facility we've gone to, we just storm the place and manage to get Team Blight to get rid of it. She does have a point. Doesn't seem like Team Blight is very organized. And I'm sure Neo is no different. As long as all of us uh, go, at, go at them together, they won't be able to do much. Not only that, we have Voltsy here, and they've taken down Lester more times than I can count. So we should have no problem taking down this small group of Team Blight members. So let's hop to it. The faster we can get this done, the better. Milo and I managed to nab more of those keys from Team Blight, so we'll hand them out to everyone so they can use the elevator. Hopefully we can figure out why they have copies of these keys to begin with. Anyway, to the building we go. All right, nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Is it this way? Or is it a uh, different way? No, it's definitely this way, because the music. Ooh! Break and swipe, nice. Hey, oh! Yo, Voltsy! Is what Faye says true? Venom is the champion of the region? That doesn't make any sense. Why would the champion want to destroy his own region? So I asked the same thing, and Ramona said that it's his way of trying to save it. Save it? How is he doing that killing innocent people and destroying cities that people worked so hard to build? He's crazy! Why else would he think he's saving the region? How someone so unhinged got into the champion position is beyond me. And the Elite Four is just AWOL? Ramona said they disappeared when Team Blight started appearing. She thinks Venom did something to get rid of them. He's that powerful? So, Ace and the others know about Venom. When Voltsy and I asked him about it, about it before, they seemed like they didn't know him at, at all that well. That was a decision made by all of us. We decided that we would leave it to Juno and Ramona to see what they could do about Venom. The rest of us had to stay quiet and keep our cities from finding out about them to avoid mass hysteria. As you can see, that plan is no longer working because Team Blight was a lot louder than we could control. So now we're taking more desperate measures, and more gym leaders are taking action to stop them. Guess you could say Juno and Ramona didn't do a good job, but with the amount of responsibilities they had as well, it's not really fair to blame them. So why didn't all of you try to stop Venom together by battling them or something? I'm sure he can't take on all of you at once. You don't think we tried? 
Venom was a smart and powerful trainer. We tried to talk him out of it at first, but when uh, he knew we weren't on his side, he disappeared off the face of the earth. He comes back and he's spearheading one of the most dangerous gangs in all of Realtra history. Literally the thing he complained about. <sighs> I didn't get him before, I don't get him now. Anyway, I'm sure there's more questions you guys have about all of this, but we should handle what's in front of us for right now. I'll answer any questions about uh, you have about him afterwards. Fine, let's press on then. Deal with this, then figure out our next move. Alright. Well, you know what? I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we go and take down Neo Team Blight and defeat Lesser at the top of the tower. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.